Hey BCT Pacific fans, I'm Jesse Bash. I'm the in-game leader for Team Secret and today I will show you how I call the shot. Before the round start, KO has ulti, Jet has ulti, and Sova has ulti but for this we only have protocol that don't get tagged by drone. If he drone, you, you just hide, let him use the drone and don't, just don't show and don't get tagged so we will not ulti so the protocol that we have here is to be more careful about the rush when the round start and then because Kayo have ulti so the positioning is like this uh, Jeremy has two mollies on the A main entrance so in case he can just open two of the molly in case uh, Kayo has ulti I think he can activate it first before he gets silenced and then that's why Kayo in the market, he can knife the, the lane entrance, so he can knife the B main area, how many are rushing, we can count how many is there. And then since we are expecting this, Jet is playing B sides because he don't really care much if he gets silenced by Kayo. And I'm playing on CT because uh, since Jet has ulti, I'm watching this window in case he updrop, I might cut him off guard and then yeah, I'm also waiting for the rush. So that this is how we started the 10 seconds protocol we have when we saw Kayo ulti. So we are on ascent and we are down one round versus DFN and we lost three rounds in a row before this round 18. And they just got absolutely clobbered 5v2. From there it was free into A as now here they come quick in. Okay, so in B, throw his silence here and I think they get four or five, five people. So basically, if the read for us, they might stop for five seconds, seven seconds because they get silent. So we are still holding our position uh, in case they they want to go uh, to continue their thing, even though they get silence. So what I'm doing on CT, I'm still holding my recon in case they smoke CT and CT and market. I can shoot my recon and. Inbi and me can just hit through the smoke using the scan. To be in main at the moment. Yeah. Uh, it seems like they might try to actually back back out. The Al drone at the dip. Okay, so since Inbi silenced them, so we have like seven to eight seconds to check if they are still going to rush in. And that's why after five seconds, I open my drone and try to see this area and I'm looking for them if they're still committing to the rush in or they might do something different, uh, go A or go mid because uh, they get they get punished. So that's why we we ask in B to watch mid in case they heard something or they throw some utilities on mid. But since they didn't do anything here, uh, we kind of expect them to still go in. Uh, that's why Jet are still watching the lane. Out the Aldrone at the distance can spot them and at least confirm that they're still there. They haven't committed further down. So yeah, in, in this time I still have my recon. He's to try to wrap around into mid. They're going to send their own Aldrone back out here. They're not going to find much. Nobody's close to this area, although it is going to be... So they drone here. Uh, I'm kind of trying to rotate also since in VR here. So... In case he heard some footstep, I, I will be running on the CT side. Be uh, in be hearing the Aldrone come through. Uh, we'll see if that actually telegraphs a commitment up towards mid or not. For now, he can just sit mid, make sure that none of those crazy pushes come in just yet. It seems like they're reading the fact that they're still. So, okay, so Dubstep heard that uh, QJ uh, put the alarm, but actually Dubstep want to pick this already to check if they're still here, but. Since uh, they used the alarm bot, I told Dubstep that it's a bait for sure. So they, I, so my, to my instinct, they are still on B, waiting for someone to pick or to clear the B side. That's why I, I asked Borkum to come closer to the B side already. But yeah, we have a protocol that as long as we are, we didn't see everyone, one guy should stay on the A side. B as we do have Borkum slowly maneuvering over. So this time, since they throw the recon, uh, I'm also ready to throw my recon on the wall, this wall. So in case I can recon everyone, everyone here, and it's gonna be hard for them to break it. So because they need to look up, and 
the timing for Borkum is here is also perfect. Just keeping the Killjoy alone on A. Cooldown's gonna come in, looking for a target, and his shot. So, Soba ulti, this one I don't really uh, care. It's, it's uh, for dubstep to dodge it. <laughs> and then I go forward. Uh, we use the connecting smoke, I think, if you have it. The we smoke stairs, uh, it's connected to the city smoke. Uh, their city smoke, it's connected to their city smoke, so we can go stairs and help dubstep a little more, a little more faster. It is shot down immediately. Team Secret with a good start so far. Only two members remaining here for detonation. Focus me. I'm expecting Takate in that. So the spike is dropped. So basically they are committed to be already no one lurker. Uh, Jeremy is still holding mid in case someone is uh, someone is lurking. So we only have information for of Sova and I think Omen. I heard Omen TP. So that's why I'm here. I'm trying to get my timing to jump on the lane. In that position, actually, there is a very small. Okay, so basically, when we have the man advantage, we are going to use the triangle setup where uh, one people here, one people here, one people here, and it turns easier. It's like B main, market, uh, city, and lane. So whoever show up on B main, it, uh, it's all tradable for everyone. So. Yeah, because of my decade of experience, we won the round. This is how I call the shots. If you want to see more, tune in to BCT Pacific. Thank you.